Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. It's Brianna Ray from BriIY here to bring you weird art. I don't know how else to say it. I found this really cool art program that makes these really cra uh, really just unique sort of designs. Um, and it's all in the form of spirals. So I'm sure you're looking at this like, what the heck is that? Um, that's a fair thing to ask. Essentially, this is kind of a coloring page that is meant to turn into a unique piece of art that out of um, some sort of uploaded piece. So I took a picture. I'm not going to tell you what the picture is. Um, I kind of wanted to be a surprise, I guess. But I did take a picture and I uploaded it into the system and it sort of created this like coloring page so that I could use this spiral design to create my art piece or like a spiralized version of this picture. I thought it was really cool. This is called Spiral Betty and it has a bunch of different options. It has like uh, a set of lines, it has it made with dots. I thought the spiral was, I don't know, pretty classic and also I think it's really difficult to see without having it colored in. So I thought about doing this with my dip pen just to kind of have an excuse to use it but also that ink is very expensive. So I'm gonna try to do it with a simple like Papermate flare pen I think this is, yeah. Um, very stereotypical teacher of me to have one of these. But um, in case I need to like get really thin in some of these lines, I might bring out the dip pen because it is perfect for that. Uh, but basically, if you get real close, you can see that these lines are not perfect. They're kind of, they kind of get thinner and thicker. So really what you're going to do with this art is color in the shape as it is set. So we're gonna start here on the inside and just kind of work our way all the way around and around and around until eventually we get our finished art piece and you'll be able to tell what it is. Now, at this point, I took this off the printer and I cannot for the life of me remember which way is even the correct way or which way it goes, but um, I think I'm just gonna kind of start at the end and work my way inside. And at the end, we'll kind of talk about how to like display it or what the kind of possibilities are, I guess. So yeah, let's, uh, let's hop into a hyperlapse. All right, we're coming pretty close to the end. After a while, I kind of found it easier to go around and kind of chop it up into like pie slices and then fill in each of those lines at a time just because going around in circles felt like it was taking so long. And I'm sure it's not really any longer to go around each of these little bits like as individual swirls but it kind of felt nice to like see big chunks of it come together at once instead of going line by line. Not to mention it was kind of nice to like break things up. However, I would not say it's the best way to do it because here, let me show you. You can kind of see where I stopped on each of these lines. So I kind of started like going over them anyway and just kind of erasing lines as I went. Um, and it made kind of these strange shapes in there that I didn't intend by accident just because of how I set the different kinds of, uh, the different kinds of lines I would accidentally go in and like, okay, well, you know, I'm gonna, you know, draw a line here and I guess that like makes it bleed a little bit more, which kind of shows that line. But more than anything, it's showing, I think, how these weird swirls are made. Obviously, the swirls get darker in certain areas to show those areas um like to show like the harsh lines of where shapes begin and end so like for instance down here you can see like this is forming a single line there's just these like thin lines and then they get thicker right at the point where these lines kind of go out you can see the same thing here uh which i think is really interesting it says a lot i think or maybe a way to figure out how to kind of make something like this yourself i don't know if i would ever want to kind of create a design like this on my own. I don't know if I see value in that for me, at least, you know, as far as like the way my time goes. I do think this is going to be a super cute piece of art and I don't know if you can actually tell what it is or not yet. This is one of those things that you really got to back up on to kind of see in all of its glory. And I just have a couple of these lines left. And I'm going to go in and just finish them up and then I will show you the final piece. 
All right, let's zoom out and see what this looks like. Yay, it's my baby kitty. You can see her nose there and her little lip mouth situation, like a muzzle, I guess. And then she's got her whiskers and her little eyeball and her little ears. And she's leaning over kind of like sideways. Um, <laughs> I actually, uh, I think it would probably make more sense for me to just say which picture it is. Um, I'm going to move over to the side slightly and say, hey, this right here, that picture. That is the picture that I used uh, to turn into this. And I think it actually went surprisingly well. Um, one thing I'm also very afraid of is that um, a bunch of this marker bled through onto my onto my table. Sweet! It did not. But look at how cute this is. Um, I, really, I actually really do think that this is kind of cute and like just a really cool different piece of art. Like something kind of abstract but also it looks real? I don't know. Like it has that abstract feel but it's still not just like a big swirly sheet of paper, it's my cat. <laughs> I don't know. Not that there's anything wrong with abstract art or whatever, but I think it just kind of adds a layer of fun to maybe more like realistic traditional art pieces. And I think that this turned out pretty good actually. And I was really afraid that how like messy I made some things was going to disrupt the way that it looked overall. I kind of left this part for last because I figured that like adding the eye in was really gonna make it like the picture come together and I think it did. Um, either way, I do think this was kind of fun. I might go through into some of the lines that accidentally bled together and add some white back in just as a little extra detail. I'm thinking I might actually make a mat, you know, like put, um, get like a 12 by 12 sheet of paper or something and cut like this size circle out of it. I could, you know, take like a colored sheet of paper, maybe a pink or something so it matches the things I have in my room and cut this circle out of it so it kind of forms a mat and then frame it. And I have this really cool piece of art, but Overall, I thought this was a super fun project. I thought the system, like the program, was really easy to use. So if you're looking for something to kind of design and, and you know, even if you want to just kind of print it as is, I thought the website was really cool, but this was a nice, like, I feel like this would be a really cool thing to like maybe add like certain gradients in or different colors. I really wanted to keep it black because that's the aesthetic I have in here, but I think there's a lot of possibilities here. Um, obviously adding in the mats, doing like a series of these and sort of creating a gallery wall. There's a lot of possibilities here and it was definitely a nice way to spend my time and almost relax. It was kind of like coloring um, and it did take me a while to fill in, so it definitely was a very relaxing afternoon and more than anything I could hope that everyone would have one of those every now and then so I'll definitely drop the link for this in the description box below if you like it and yeah thank you so much for watching if you like what you saw feel free to like and subscribe I do put out new videos every Sunday at noon Eastern Standard Time and I would love for you to be here for the next one thanks again so so much and I hope to see you then bye